how can we as believers encourage non-believers to still accept Jesus Christ as their Savior, even though their reason for not doing so are examples of other Christians who maybe have bad character or bad morals? Very good. Very simple. You just tell them, well, any Christian could behave anyhow they want. They are humans. They are humans that were saved not because they are good, but because God is good. It is not our good behavior that make us to be Christians, but because of the goodness of God. So if the goodness of God could save that bad Christian, what about you? You are even noticing that it's bad. You are better. So the goodness of God should save you first. <laughs> talk less of the bad ones. If the bad ones could be saved, talk less of you. Who is good? So that's number one. But number two, you've got to tell them, I don't care what people are doing. People want to go to hell, they go to hell according to their own will, willingly. But you, you also want to go to hell because somebody else is misbehaving? Is you should be careful and care for where you will send, spend eternity. Do you want to spend eternity in hell or in heaven? If you care about your destiny, you better don't care whatever anybody does and make sure you are saved. Secure your destiny. Secure your future first. And the only way to secure that is to make sure that you are in Christ and you are saved and you are going to heaven. Let any other person go to hell, but you want to go to heaven. So now just tell people the truth. Don't play around it. Just tell them the truth. Mm -hmm. They might take it, they might reject it. It's their choice, but make sure you tell them the truth.